Okay, this is a, a LG TV, a 49 LF 5500. And as you can see, when you turn it on, it just continuously, the screen continuously flashes. Okay, we've got our back cover off, and we'll go right to our plug for our LEDs, uh, which is right here. Uh, as you can see, it's, it is labeled, if you can see that. Uh, plus, minus, plus, minus. It's kind of hard to read on the board. All right, there we go. Okay, uh, so plus, minus, plus, minus. We'll just disconnect it. Check it like that. Okay, plus minus, plus on that one. Okay, that first line is reading open. There's two lines on here. Also, the second line is reading open too. Hmm, that is weird. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah. There we go. The second line is 94 volts. Okay, I can see it lighting up. Okay, 95 volts. And the, the line that's open is that first line. You see it's 305. Still reading infinite. So that line is open. So I'll just pull this baby apart. Uh, like I said, I did another video on the same pretty much the exact same TV where I disassembled it so I'm just going to go through it right quick take off the speakers just unplug those unplug those just take them off so they won't fall out while you're turning the TV around them we're going to of course obviously disconnect our LDVS cable from our TCOM port right here pull that out okay Always do this stuff in order so you will not forget. Then we're going to disconnect our cables from our T-Con board going down to our panel. We'll disconnect both of those. Okay. We're going to use a number one Phillips bit and then remove. brackets here, this one and this one, uh, that's covered up the driver boards. As a matter of fact, this is what we do. I usually just take a little, just so I know exactly where it goes, and I actually, I actually mark this, color the screws in red, and I just say, it should be on here as left, it is marked left and right, so already pre-printed on there, so that's good. And they do kind of look at the bottom first. They do kind of like snap in there. You will see it. There's also another screw on the bottom of this piece on the end here holding this in. So uh, we'll go ahead and disconnect all that good stuff. And we'll be on our way. Black screw on the bottom. And then we'll just pull this off. Voila. That easy. Okay, I'm just going ahead and just that's when I had disconnected our little button there, little toggle switch. Uh, because it's kinda like in the way the core is not long enough for it to hang out. So uh, the TV is gonna automatically power up when you plug it in anyway. So we're gonna test fire it up. We probably won't need that. And then we're gonna take the screws from around the bezel. There's one on the bottom. Okay, only one uh, on this one <laughs> for some reason, but uh, I guess that's where the uh, the screw for the little brackets go. 
uh, right on the, on the outside. I'm sorry. Yeah. So one on the bottom there's like um, looks like there's only like three on both on the two sides, and there's a few on top. I would suppose we'll pull those out. And the bezel should the bezel the outer bezel should slide right out. Okay, outer bezel wiggle right out. Just kind of wiggle around. Don't need to do any crazy prying or anything because once those screws are out. It pretty much frees the outer bezel up. And next we're going to remove our screen, of course. Okay. Real easy. Just like in the other videos, no big deal, right? Actually, I'm going actually going to take, I just unloosened the driver board from, from the little clippy things. Just fold those over, tape them to the screen so they won't get snagged, won't get in the way, and you won't break them. Like I said, once those break, bend, uh, once those ribbon connectors break or tear, uh, that is it. So I want to make sure that we got those out the way. And wherever you lay these, just make sure they are laying face up. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, make sure the driver boards are on top. Okay, don't lay those like on the floor, like just make sure where you lay this. Okay, so now we just got the one whole bracket, it's all one piece, uh, holding the diffuser screens in, and we just did little clips up under here, you can just see it, and we just go ahead and clip those up using something like this. No big deal, right? See how easy that is? It's all one piece, and I'll actually mark. Actually mark the corner so I know where this goes. I put a slight dot on the screen, just a small one, in the very corner, so that way when I pull these, it's the uh, diffuser screens out. I know exactly what order they go. I know this is the top one, and I'm also going to mark the corner of this bezel in red, so I know this is my left bottom corner when I go to put it on. That easy. Pull it up, pull your screens up, and you're and you're at the LED. Okay, this is the part that I hate about these sets. The reason to take apart as far as the bezel and the frame and stuff. But these little screen support things, you have to kind of go up under here in the middle, lift it and lift it in, and they'll slide right out. Go up under here in the middle, kind of loosen it up a little bit. Don't break it. Go to the end, and they slide right out. And then we'll have to go to the other side and remove these white little tabs. Do it have to go to the other side, just use this needle nose and just push the little tabs through. See right here, there's one there. We just squeeze them and they'll come out. Now as you can see on this particular set, uh, it has five strips, but there are only two lines. Okay, so one line, uh, if you follow it in from um, you know from the uh, power supply board going inside the TV. This is your line right here coming from the power supply board. One connection goes to these two strips, okay, and the other connection goes to these three strips, okay. So, um, I'm going to zoom in for you. As you can see, strips right here, and as it, it ends with a little stopper right here. And um, we'll go ahead and check that. Okay, on both of those strips, they all do light up, except for one, looks like. Or is that lit? Uh, I think it is lit. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So that one's pretty much working. And then we'll go to our next one. And that one is open. Now, just to show you what you can do to check each and every strip is... So we'll zoom out here. I'm going to take this plug... Right here, I'm going to take pull that off, okay? Should be able to wiggle it around some kind of way this thing comes out. There we go. I'm going to pull that off, and I'm going to go to each one of the three strips on that line. 
and see how they're connected right here see there's one there and then it goes around here right loops around and then ends on that one so the last one also has one of those stopper um, things on it uh, but I'm going to check the first two strips individually I'm just going to unplug these two things here I can get it to wiggle out okay okay I plug that and I'm gonna put my stopper on each one of them one at a time and check each individual strip okay So I got one on the first strip in the second line. Okay. Okay, that's we have we have an opening there. Okay. All right. So let's try this. I'm going to pull that back out. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> had to skip ahead, actually. That's a little... Had bit one of the pins in there. Uh, and this second strip from the bottom. Uh, putting that little stopper in there. Actually, when you use this stopper, when you're pulling it out, just... It has no clips on it. Just kind of pull it straight up. I don't know why that one, the pin broke. But... Just kind of lift it just straight up, just kind of wiggle it back and forth, and it slides right out and push it back in. It's that easy. Uh, but for somehow uh, that pin got bent. But in actuality, we did actually find uh, the bad LED. Uh, like I said, it's very easy. You just take one of these little one of these little stop first, you test, test both lines, and then you take one of these stoppers, take it off of here, and put one on each end of the strip and that way you can check each individual strip and then of course you're gonna have to scrape the trace uh, off like I did see right here to find the bad LED so pretty much self-explanatory um, so uh, I did find I did change the individual LED I'm still gonna have a few that are not lit so <laughs> for you guys uh, and my comments, oh, you got one that wasn't lit. Oh, you suck. Well, yeah, well, obviously, I'm, I'm going to fix that. But I just want to show you guys that um, that we are all set here. Oops. Uh, yeah, okay, we are all set here. So, um, there we go. And I still got, uh, it looks like they're all lit, as a matter of fact. I thought I had another one here that wasn't lit. Uh, I think it's this one right here, maybe. Yeah, so, that's it, guys. And like I said, just... Uh, each individual strip, pull the stopper off. Like I said, there are two lines. There's this line going down here, which which controls these three, lights up these three bottom strips, and the one line at the very top. And like I said, you can see it as it loops around. Okay, it loops around here to this strip. And the stopper is actually on the end of this one, right? Okay, so that's just one line, okay, with two strips. And once again, I'll show you again. There's another line. That's the other line for the, the uh, LED strips. And that one goes all the way around here, okay, where I broke the little clip at. And goes right there to the end and then goes back around here with this wire. See that? Okay, and goes to the end, right? Okay, and like I said, you can take this end piece off. Uh, once you find out which line is bad, you can take this end piece off and test each individual strip, okay, by using your LED checker. Um, and that's it. Okay, guys, that's it. We're done. Okay, and I just
just so you know, before you leave any comments on my video, these little circles uh, from the suction cups will go away, okay? Uh, just a matter of time as it plays and it just go away. Matter of fact, sometimes you can rub on it and then it start going away, but it's not going to be there forever. But anyway, we're all done. And hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, right? And thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Big Dog out.